important. I didn't yeah. realise that, of course. Yeah. No, there's the next one. Bit dark? Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> We're learning is right. So yeah. off you go with that Thank one. Thank you very much. And just paint that in exactly the same yeah. way. Yeah. Bring it across the roof like the tide coming in, you know, in strokes downward, yeah. but moving I got to you. your right all the yeah. time. Okay, now you've had me do the, the driveway here in that, that colour, but actually that's not the colour of the driveway. The driveway's actually much greyer, isn't it? Yeah, well, I have a thing about grey and black. <laughs> and I don't like either of the two colours, because I think that they're dead colours, you know, they're dead in anything that you put them onto. Yeah. So I always be inclined to use a little bit of raw sienna mm. and water, first of all, to put on a wash, mm. and then I've got you to put in some uh, burnt sienna and a wee bit of ultramarine there as well. Mm -hmm. Just to liven that up a little bit to show there's some texture on it. Do you know that's very interesting because my favourite uh, painting at home is, is done by a, a French guy you've probably never heard of called Volet. It's not a particularly mm -hmm. exceptional uh, artist or anything, but it was it was a painting that I saw in a gallery near us, and I was drawn to it because he, he, it's a, a beautiful painting, oil painting of this lady, uh, Victorian lady, in, in in a cornfield, and the field is precisely what drew me into that picture. You're absolutely right. Yeah. The colours, the richness of that field yeah. that he's created uh, is, is exactly what took me in. So what are we going to do next? We're going to move on now and put on some masking fluid. Why, why masking fluid? Well, take a look at the colour of the flowers. Mm -hmm. They're bright pink and purple, mm -hmm. set against a green background. Now, if we cover this area in green, mm -hmm. we'll never be able to get the pink and purple colour on there okay. because this transparent medium we're working with yeah. The green is going to show through any colour we put on, mm -hmm. any subsequent wash. So therefore we must retain the white of the paper by using the masking fluid. So I'm just going to let you put those on. Mm -hmm. The general shapes, you just want to put on the general shapes of the flowers themselves. Yeah. Down here? Yeah. John, while we're waiting on the masking fluid to dry, we can move along now and do this bush mm -hmm. and this other one at the side of the little shed. Yeah, fascinating array of colours there, isn't there? It is. There's a lot of different things yeah. happening in there. And what yeah. are you going to apply there? Well, I was going to use raw sienna and light red because they have trimmed that bush and you can see the top of it has gone a bit brown. So we'll put some of that on yeah. first. Off you go. Thank you. Bring that down below halfway. Yeah. And uh, then we can blend the green in because it's quite a dark, intense green on the underside. So don't take it any lower than halfway. But About we'll there? just do one tree at a time. There? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, you see if we shoot that up into it, like that. Uh-huh. Many of the time I'm painting trees and I wish I knew what, what you called them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm no help on that. <laughs> my wife's the gardener, I'm yeah. just the labourer. I just take the stuff to the dump. It's all starting to come together. Yeah. So you feel happy enough about it? Yeah, I'm del delighted. Yeah. <laughs> <Do> <laughs> Overwhelmed. Do you feel a career change yes. coming <laughs> <on>? <laughs> Well, always, always good to have something up your sleeve, don't you? You, know? <laughs> you never know, they might find me out one day. Well, I suppose we'll put the windows in now. Why not? <laughs> but we'll start with the panes of glass because what we're going to paint is the reflections on the window itself. So we're looking through glass into darkness within. But mm. as we look at that close up, it's reflecting the sky. So we're going to paint the sky colour on there first. So just with the number five brush and a very dilute mixture of cerulean blue and water. I just want you to paint that in. Right now, that top window's open. Yeah. So I want you to paint it following the direction of that line there. Mm -hmm. So as you come across, keep the brush at an angle and then cut down along that side. Why is that necessary? Oh, just to get the angle? Yeah, if you, oh, I see. If you actually paint it vertical, the window will look as if it's closed. Oh. Yeah. Now the thing is, if you leave an odd little bit of white, that's okay because there is a blind behind the glass and you also have some sunlight reflecting on the glass itself, so that can leave like a white flash. Yeah. yeah. You see, just by darkening that area there, yeah, that it has gives another just another bit of depth to it. Mm. And I want you to do the same thing here, yeah. but not darkening all of the window pane, but keep the bottom line straight. Yeah. Smashing. So what next? We'll do the little flower pots to the front of the house. Yeah. And now that's a fairly deep red, isn't it, this one here? It is fairly deep. It's um, a mixture of crimson and light red. Let me see what this is like. It's not bad. It's maybe a little bit too red. We'll try mm. some more 
brown. Burnt so. sienna into that. Mm. Burnt sienna is a very rich brown colour. Yeah. And you can. Burnt sienna, I was just saying I'm brown, but it yeah. Means, yeah. <laughs> if you cut along the top line first of all, and then bring it down to that. That's, that's more like it. Yeah. Yeah. Just bring it down to that little sure. steel rim that's on it. Yeah. Those are like half barrels yeah. that have been cut down. Very attractive, actually. They are indeed. Yeah. See, whenever you're doing something like that, it's very important that you cut the edges very neatly. Otherwise, yeah. they don't look as if they're solid objects. Good job we didn't have too many drinks last night, Dale. <laughs> indeed. Just be careful with the bottom part of that, that you don't... Hit the ground. Hit the ground, otherwise it loses its shape. Yes. I'll mix a terracotta colour, John, for those yeah. other pots that are there. They're slightly lighter. How do you get terracotta? Terracotta would be Windsor yellow and light red. Windsor yellow and light red, yeah. And that's not too far away at that. It's maybe a bit more yellow, yeah? Is it, well, it it'll or? probably lighten quite a bit whenever well, it dries. Oh, yeah. And it's very important that you bear that in mind, because if your colours are wishy-washy when they put them on the paper, mm -hmm. whenever they dry out, the thing disappears completely. So you don't worry if it looks too dark? No. Basically? Just keep them dark to begin with, but yeah. obviously you're working with a transparent medium, so don't have them like oil paints and very gluey. Yeah. They should always be like ink yeah. to paint with, as if you were painting with ink. Now, we can just remove the Oh, it's as simple as that? Yeah, just rub it off like that. No, I, but I'd, you, I'd you, be scared of doing that in case I, I ruined all the rest of it. Yeah, well, the thing is, you must make sure that the underlying wash is completely dry. Yeah. And that's on long enough now to be dry. Just try it there yourself, do you see? Yeah. Rub it pretty oh, hard. I, I, I'm yeah. scared of doing it too hard, you know, that's it. But it does work. What yeah. a treat. Well, let me see. For a nice pink, we'll use crimson mm -hmm. water. And if we need it, a little bit of French ultramarine. But we'll just try this first of all. Just what? crimson watered down mm -hmm. should give us a nice pink. A bit deep, isn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I know it'll, it'll dry lighter, yeah. but... But more so. water. You use water in the same way that you'd use white if you were painting in oils. Mm -hmm. If you need to lighten something in oils, you Just use water. If dilute you it, basically. Dilute it with water. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, I'm really pleased with this. Well, I'm delighted that you are. And thank you very much indeed. Well, I, I just hope that you've taken away some of the tips and tricks of the trade. I have. <laughs> I've learned a great deal. I mean, I really have learned a great deal. And, and, and actually, it's been, a, it's been a real confidence booster. I mean, I might, I might even take it up, you know, as a semi-serious hobby now, because um, it's very relaxing. It's very, very refreshing. It's very satisfying. And uh, it's a great joy. It's been super. John, all you have to do now is sign it. So there's the pen. Thank you very much indeed. And down on the left-hand side. I feel uh, very privileged, I have to say. It's been a pleasure. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic. Join me next time for more painting in Connemara on A Wash With Colour, when my guest will be actress and comedian Pauline Madlin. Until then, I'm off to explore more of this breathtaking scenery.